What's up guys, this is Mohamed, and if you've seen my DJI Mavic Air review, then you know that by far my biggest gripe with that drone was that it used Wi-Fi transmission. It was just unreliable and you'd have constant connection drops where you just wouldn't see what you were filming, and it was just scary to have your connection drop when you're like way up in the air and you can't see the drone, you know, reliably. So. Uh, at that point, I was looking into solutions to get some better uh, connection from the Mavic Air and I came across an interesting option called these um, range extenders, right? And they come in many different brands. Uh, this is one brand that I could find in Turkey and they're very, very cheap. So do they work? Basically, how they're supposed to work is they take the transmission coming from the antennas and they strengthen it and then push it in one direction. So one thing you have to keep in mind is you have to keep the antennas pointed at the drone at all times. Now, this is not actually how it <laughs> goes on the antennas. It has these elastic bands. This brand is, is very cheap. But you have to keep the, the controller pointed at the drone for maximum effectiveness. Do you remember those old routers where they would have these big antennas coming out of them and you wouldn't get very good reception in like some parts of the, the house that were far away from the router. So you would just wrap aluminum foil around the, the uh, antennas to get better reception. This is kind of doing that. So this is how they fit onto the controller. Uh, like I said, this brand is, is a cheap one, but it was the only one I could find in Turkey. They have these elastic bands and they just basically uh, hold on to the antennas. Um, and I have used this on uh, four different shoots now, uh, four different professional shoots. So in one instance, I was flying pretty close to the ground, as you can see here, in a place that is pretty urban. It was in an island, but there were many houses around us and many, many tourists. So there's a lot of Wi-Fi uh, transmission happening <laughs> in that area. And uh, I think it was like a four or five minute shot where I was just following the bride and the groom and it never once lost connection. That is one area that um, the DJI Mavic Air would constantly drop connection in, in places where uh, there are lots of houses that have Wi-Fi, lots of people that are using Wi-Fi on, on their phones. So in that situation, it was a definite improvement. Or in this shot here, we're at the edge of the island where there's lots of boats behind us and lots of people just coming and going you know, behind the, the bride and the groom. And like I said, huge area with lots of Wi-Fi going off. And I mean, if you just, if I just look at my phone, I could find like different, 10 different Wi-Fi spots to, to connect to. But uh, even in that, in that situation where I was pretty high up, it still gave me a good reception. It still uh, does drop connections. I mean, you're not gonna get OcuSync performance levels from this uh, li little hack here, but, it is an improvement. Or in these shots here where I am inside the boat and I have the drone circling around it, um, it was pretty stable. Um, I did have some connection issues, but uh, that's, that's just to be expected. I mean, like I said, this thing is not gonna overhaul the, the DJI Mavic Air Wi-Fi performance. Um, it is just to give it a little kick uh, so you can take your drone further and have less connection drops. There are other ways that you can boost the performance of the Mavic Air. Uh, you can choose which Wi-Fi like range it uses manually, which can be more reliable. And you can change uh, basically the, the method of Wi-Fi that it uses. If you're in Europe, you can uh, hack your phone into thinking that uh, the GPS is set in US, so the DJI Mavic Air will use the, the US range of Wi-Fi, which is stronger than the European ones. But um, I'm not sure if that's legal in, in Turkey, so I never tried it. I don't know the results. But for $10, $15, these things are not bad. I wish I had the footage from my phone to show you how far the Mavic Air would go with these and without these, like a performance comparison. But um, as you know, if you've seen my <laughs> previous video, I don't have my Mavic Air with me anymore. So all I can tell you is like my uh, personal experience with these and um, I was satisfied with them for $15. They're really cheap, so you can get one and test it for yourself, see if it works for you. So that's it for this video, guys. Hope you liked it and found it informative. Please leave a like on this video. Let us know what you think in the comments. Go back and watch all my other videos and subscribe to my channel. Till next time.